Jackson Holiday will be playing second and wearing number seven. The number seven was unofficially retired. No one's worn it since Cal Ripken Sr., the longtime Orioles minor league player, minor league manager, major league manager, and major league coach. The Holidays asked the Ripkins for permission, and they said, we would love to pass on this tradition to you. Very respectfully. I know that the Holiday family had kind of made reference to number seven or whatever else, and my brother did touch base with me actually this morning and says, what do you think? And I said, you know what, if anybody's going to do it, I think that family's going to honor oh, the fact cool. that Senior was a part of that. Yeah. yeah. And and it gives us another opportunity to throw Senior out there. I the agree. Mix. So I'm, I'm all on board with it. For Cutter Crawford, a righty, the Orioles love to see righties. His last time out, he only allowed one hit through six innings of work against Baltimore. As Henderson comes up to hit for a ball club that won over 100 games last year. Goes after the first one in a high drive in the left center, but Rafaela moving over. And will make the catch. One pitch and one out. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. He got him down and in. As the sweeper from Cutter Crawford takes care of Adley. Two down, base is empty at a 2 2 home. On the track, he's there. He has it. And Cutter Crawford has a 1 2 3 first. So he's pitched 11 and 2 thirds innings this year. With only one earned run. First one out of the dugout, Jackson Holiday. He takes the field for the first time as a big leaguer to play second base, a position he is still learning, and he will learn now at the major league level. 30-year-old left-hander Cole Irving making his 79th career start. His first start was against the Royals. Five innings of work, seven hits, four runs, walked two, struck out three, only threw 81 pitches. Time to play ball. Duran in at 319 with a home run. He's going to slap that one into left field for a base hit. And on with him, terrific speed, six stolen base. And he's going to take ball four. So a good start for the Sox first and second. Nobody out for Devers. Devers swings and misses. A foul tip actually into the mid of Rutschman. And Irvin collects a strikeout on a trio of triumphant two seamers. He just kept shoving that two seam fastball right to the inside of the part of Devers. So an eye opening strikeout of Devers brings up Tristan Casas. Duran and O'Neill, the runners. There's a breaking ball grounded to first. Mount Castle over to Henderson. Back to the covering Cole, and it's a double play. 3 6 1, and Irvin is out of the inning. No score in the top half of the second inning. Cutter works from the set. He delivers. And a swing and a miss. Hit a sweeper down and in. He got him to retire the side. So six up, six down for the birds. And after one and a half, 0-0. Zero, zero. No command of that two-seamer back-to-back -back pitches. He puts Gonzalez on on four. As here's Masataki Yoshida batting left on left. Red Sox designated hitter. Yoshida broken back. Ground ball to second. Here's your first chance, Jackson. Holiday and you aced it. He wanted to improve turning double plays. He just turned a double play. His first bit of major league action and his first big league at bat will be in the third inning. Just missed high and a five pitch walk to Kowser to begin the top of the third. And Colton Kowser is the first Oriole base runner today. And Jackson Holiday is next in line. The second baseman, number seven, Jackson Holiday. There's a sizable Oriole contingent down by the first base dugout, which certainly swelled after the announcement this morning that Jackson Holiday would be promoted to the major leagues. And Crawford's 2 2 runner goes. Struck him out. Here's the throw down. The tag safe. The so Kowser steals it, and Holiday strikes out. Two gone. Here's Henderson, 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. 1 and 2, the pitch. That is strike three called on the inside corner. 94 mile an hour fastball. And the inning is over. Well, Cutter works around the leadoff walk. Four strikeouts after two and a half. Red Sox and the O's scoreless. He's gone, and that'll bring up Rafaela. Rafaela wow. down swinging. Cole Urban has the curveball cooking, and that's his second strikeout. Yeah, the two seam fastball has got a lot of movement, and when you combine it with this breaking ball right here, it's a deadly combination. Duran one for one, a base hit first. In. Here's a liner into left field, another hit for Duran the other way. He's thinking about two, makes the turn, and he will put the brakes on. One hand, you'd be tempted to see if Duran thought about going here to jolt the offense a little bit, but boy, Tyler O'Neill's swinging, and I'm not so sure, especially with a lefty on the mound. Here is Tyler who drives one high into shallow right field out goes holiday difficult chance for him and he's not going to get there rounding third is Duran he's going to come home and score the throw is high head first slide for Duran and maybe the first miscue for the kid Jackson holiday produces the Red Sox 
first run. Yeah, I mean, Holiday was kind of calling everybody off, but it's such a difficult play for him. What, 70 feet or so out into the grass? So Cutter Crawford's walk two in the inning. He puts on Mullins. He loads the bases with two outs. And here's Colton Kowser, who once again finds himself at the plate with runners in scoring position. One, two. Cut on and missed. He gets out of it. He leaves him loaded. He made a nasty pitch with that splitter. Two pitches, two singles, two base runners for Boston. Pablo Reyes became a bit of a folk hero around these parts last year. And he takes a called third one. Put the bun on even with two strikes. Gets the out at first with Casas and Gonzalez advancing. So now it's up to Connor Wong to salvage something in the inning. Another inning that has begun very well. But is it going to die on the vine? He went the other way beautifully for a base hit. Casas is in. Here comes Gonzalez. The throw is going to be late. Connor Wong delivers. And the Red Sox lead it three to nothing. The Orioles have the leadoff runner aboard for the second time. And now after a meeting at the mound, here's Jackson Holiday for his second major league plate appearance. There's a ground ball to the right side. It's fielded by Reyes and Gonzalez will not have a play at first. Holiday's a very good runner. He bounces into a 4-6 fielder's choice. He's 0 for 2, but he will get to run. Holiday to third. Henderson to second, and the bases are loaded. And O'Hearns had two good plate appearances today. His 25th pitch of the inning. 3-2 runners go. And a ground ball to the right side. Casas will feed him, and he gets out of this, too. That's Houdini back to back innings loading them up and somehow wriggles free and it remains three nothing Boston and that's going to be a close take for ball four so Devers on with two down Casas base hit and a run scored last time he's one for two tonight swing a high fly ball to left field Kowser turning around looking up and that ball's gone home run the other way Casas got it out of here up to the monster seats for a two run homer 341 feet just enough he can do that too and the Red Sox lead it five to nothing a base hit and an error on the right fielder second and third Orioles trying to jump back in this thing here's the guy's been a top RBI man as of late Kowser Kowser shoots it through the left side that is his happy zone and the ball is bobbled by Duran Mullins would have scored anyway it's a two run single and a six RBI series for Colton Kowser and we got a ball game Jordan Westberg Westberg go. fair ball inside the line at third down into the corner by the monster Kowser racing to third and a stop sign right there Jordan Westberg with a double and the Orioles have four straight hits to set up Jackson Holiday here in the sixth. So again second and third two runs in and still nobody out is Jackson Holiday to the right side. That's what you were asking for. It's an out, but it's an RBI. Jackson Holiday's first RBI of his big league career cuts the lead to 5-3, and he will return to the dugout to a slew of high fives after Major League RBI number one. New pitcher for the Orioles, big Mike Bauman making his fifth appearance of the year. Mike Bauman strikes out three in the sixth inning. A fastball for one, curveballs for the other two. The dynamic duo at the corners. And here's Cedric. Go ahead, run. One out in the seventh. What happened there? Catcher's interference. Catcher's interference against Wong, and Mullins would be awarded first base. No, there was no hesitation at all from home plate umpire Bruce Dreckman. Oh, yeah. Man, that's easy there. You see the bat hit the glove. All right. The Orioles with the bases loaded yet again. Well, the Red Sox have really mucked up this inning. And of course, it's Colton Kowser with the bases loaded. How could it be anybody else? In the dirt, skips away from Wong. Here comes O'Hearn, and the Orioles get within a run. A nightmare inning for Connor Wong continues. It's five to four, and the go-ahead runs are both in scoring position. And the two-two on the way. Tried to hold up, he couldn't do it. That's a swing and a miss on the splitter, and that strikes him out. And it's up to Jordan Westberg now. Westberg drives one deep into center field. Jordan yes. Westberg has given the Orioles the lead. A weaver to the monster. It's seven to five, and they've come all the way back in just two innings. Now that 
is the hardest hit ball tonight. Gunner line down on 110. How about 111 off the bat here? Jackson Holiday in his major league debut. 3-2, and that's a swing and a miss. He struck him out to retire the side. Westberg with a three-run homer. And Baltimore is in front in the middle of the seventh. Henderson. Henderson off a of lefty with a really good swing. He that ball is headed to the Bermuda Triangle. He is not going to stop at second. He is on his way to third. It's a triple for Gunner. His second three bagger of the year. And he'll start the sprinkler at third. And after the leadoff triple, Bernardino struck out two. Got with Rutschman. Santander swings through this elevated fastball. Austin Hayes to hit for O'Hearn, who was one for three. And a fly to center field on the move. It's Durant still moving and makes the catch on the warning track. That'll retire the side. And they strand that runner at third base. Only Gonzalez tonight is one for two. Has a single. He scored a run. Keegan Aiken still out there. And Keegan Aiken oh. is saved by Colton Kowser. Crashing into the scoreboard to rob Romy Gonzalez. Mm. That one will sting. But it will come with a side of out number one. As the great Phil Rizzuto might have said, holy Kowser. And I mean, what a jump that was, too. A perfect read. To left from Yoshida. Kowser back there again. Kowser near the wall. He got another one. The Green Monster is no match for Colton Kowser. I was talking to Craig yesterday. I asked about pitching in this park, and he said, I haven't been here in six years. Couldn't believe it, but it's true. His memory served him well. October 24th, a scoreless inning got the save. Two out in the ninth. Breaking ball is bounced to third. It's Westberg, the hero of the night, with the assist on the game's last out. They win 7-5. to five. Jackson Holiday in his first big league game, drives in a run and sees the Orioles do what they always seem to do, come back to win.